Hello everybody, welcome back to another video where I will be again, like last Saturday using old clips that I forgot I have this is pretty much what the title says this is Arboreal Rehouses I had a bunch of clips still that I forgot I filmed and it was like this was filmed in the summer so a lot of the tarantulas that you will see in these videos are completely different and most of all a lot bigger see I'm even wearing shorts there uh, so it's like film with the start when I was trying to do voiceover but I put no energy into it so it turned out terrible so that's what I'm doing voiceover anyway this is Poetsilateria Metallica as you if you saw like some of the rehouses I use, this is like the standard uh, rehouse boxes that I use for my Poetsilaterias and then I put them in the boxes where they will finally be uh, more on that thing this is like kind of a teaser for that uh, in next week I'll be showing you like uh, how I re how I house the adult Poetsilaterias and everything about that uh, my favorite genome by the way my favorite tarantula genome more on that next week uh, this is like kind of a teaser but I think uh, what we will be seeing today in this week's video I actually like completely forgot I didn't show these three houses this is uh, Salmopeus three houses I didn't even like show you the feedings of them because like oh this like uh, first of all I split the collection with my brother so my brother has them uh, downstairs in his room so this is like his part of the collection uh, this is Psalmopeus Ecclesiasticus uh, Ecuadorian Grey or something like that the common name of them spiders I really don't know but if you can see the pattern on its booty uh, it's really strange to me because it looks like Pomphobetos Mascara which is a uh, which is a arboreal tarantula from uh, America it looks completely uh, it looks really like exactly the same like when it's that size but when it's adult it looks completely different I don't know why they look so similar because I think they live like closely by but like this is arboreal uh, psalmopeo species again as you uh, probably suspect uh, because this is quite a rare species I got it from like a year and a half ago or even more from the spider shop uh, it's a like you can't get this species where I live in like central western Europe I guess uh, another one I have two of these Ecclesiasticus I mean they're kind of a expensive species uh, and so that's just like kind of a like uh, you want them in the collection and because they're beautiful when they're matured they're uh, orangish uh, olive coloration they look gorgeous moving on to the Psalmopeus Langenburgi uh, again uh, you will see the tag on the box when uh, I will be zooming out and then um, what the common name is I'm sorry I forgot the common name like I'm seeing these clips of me rehousing the spiders after four months at least four or five like something like that because it's December right now so I completely forgot about them and I don't have them in like at my eyesight all the time so that's why I don't remember the common names but I do remember like I have uh, there you go Venezuelan Chevron I remember now like this is crazy how many like species I have like over 60 so I apologize for not remembering all of them but um, I had two I had three at the start I sold one because uh, I don't know I sold one and then uh, one died unfortunately like I was uh, me and my brother were feeding them like last week and uh, he was he passed away so unfortunately we only have one of these 
all others you will see in these videos are still fine just pointing that out uh, one of those three I think like I didn't even show I don't even have the clips of rehousing three of them just rehousing two of them the first one was there and uh, like this is the, the second one which escaped because psalmopeuses are notoriously fast uh, even though they're new worlds they are not the best uh, beginner species as I will talk about it right now uh, the Ecclesiasticus is kinda defensive it's not the fastest species uh, which you can get but it's defensive which means it uh, moves its fangs it stridulates its fangs when you get close to it and upset it so it probably will bite you if you upset it too much Langenburg is just fast not really defensive just moves as fast as you saw there before and it's not uh, nice like I, I don't recommend it as a beginner species at all this is Psalmopeus pulher a gorgeous gorgeous baby which is just turning colors when they're smaller their uh, legs are really really bright uh, bright orangey bright bright uh, like kind of reddish colorations and when they get older they get uh, all orange or all like blondish colorations uh, they don't have the black booty as you saw there moving on to uh, Psalmopeus reduncans another species that I had I have my, I mean my brother has now but I mean we both shared the collection so I just don't have it on the uh, plain eyesight. side uh, I mean this species is like I think I like it because when they're smaller their kind of greenish coloration really looks super nice and they're when they're mature and like bigger they turn brown so they're not that exciting to look at but again uh, kind of chill I mean like I tried to handle them multiple times but it's not the best idea like Salmopeuses are not the best to handle uh, what more do I want to say about Psalmopeuses? Um, I have a Cambridge Eye, a mature female, which you probably saw in the pairings. I have, uh, and I have Verminias, which I didn't show in this video because I already rehoused them off camera. Moving on to Tarantula species, I highly recommend if you want arboreal beginner species buy this one get this one I think everybody wants this one but I don't think like the prettiness factor comes into play uh, like a lot here I think just the fact that they are they're not the cheapest but they're the chillest uh, I love this species I had three of them I still have two of them because I, s oh, I sold one off uh, at the start because I don't know why I did that but let's talk about it this is Caribena versicolor I don't wanna go out and uh, uh, spread out lies but I think this is this is like Caribenas are the only one who are who has the blue coloration when they're smaller this is like an L3 or L4 this is like the fourth mold of them and like right now four months later I can start telling you that the coloration on the uh, booty or the abdomen is starting to get a little bit orangey so they are slow growers this is like a year old spider where you saw that there this is another one uh, just I think they're just the, b the best beginner species uh, the only thing I would recommend is uh, keep them kinda moist I don't moist them too often I moist them once a week and uh, Besides one dying at the start, yeah, I won Caribena died at the start. At the start, at the start, look like it was L1. So I think it was just genetics or something. It wasn't my fault, but like uh, I keep them successfully. They're growing. They're eating regularly. Uh, just feeding them uh, once or twice a week. Uh, not once a week or like once to every two weeks. I just miss them with a spray bottle where you saw I sprayed the Reduncans with, I sprayed them with that once a week 
uh, even though I spray I spray like every Psalmopeo species as well but like Caribenas I they do have a water dish but they don't really drink out of it I just spray their web every uh, web every once a week and I think that's just perfect uh, I move them from the cups I half or boreals into this this is a bra plast 1.3 liter box um, I don't know the dimensions. This is the smaller one for a boy. So I think it's 7.5 uh, centimeter thick and uh, 15 in the length, something like that. I don't know the like the big uh, the big the, big, the dimensions of the boxes, but I can just assure you that, that, that they are the smaller boxes. I had caribenas in because they're smaller, and then the big ones which you saw I put uh, Psalmopeus in so there are the bigger versions of that which is like 20 by 20 by 7.5 I know the bigger one dimensions of the, the, the dimensions of the bigger one sorry for the babbling on and this is the other Caribena slings which I was I have uh, I think uh, this is like two Caribenas they were ex avicularius but this is Caribena laeta la, 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 I think it's laeta it was blue when we're small you can still see colorations of it that's why I'm showing you like the X like the zoom ins and everything because it's gorgeous when it was small it was blue exactly as Caribena versicolor but it uh, changes colors quite faster than versicolor because Caribena versicolors are still moist mostly blue you know they're like purplish clownish colors when they're adult and this is like the the color you see on the legs and the booty the abdomen is the coloration they get when they're adult but this is like still l4 l5 this is a year old spider it molts uh, every month and a half something like that if you want to know the details of it but they don't move molt so fast I think that's why it's like some people just buy uh, fem adult females or like bigger females because they grow slower uh, than Psalmopeus uh, I can guarantee you that but uh, this is another Caribbean lot I have two of each and they're still in these boxes uh, like half a year later but I think in February I am giving them one more month uh, I think not one more month one more molt they, they all molted four times now uh, I have that in the, my, my tarantula lab and when they all molt five times I'm moving them in the boxes that you saw uh, right there but uh, I think I'm gonna just uh, add some pictures and everything right here but uh, this is not it basically what I wanted to tell you and everything is that uh, Caribenas are really good beginner species uh, if you want to have them please buy them they're great but uh, also one thing I wanted to add yeah they're quite fast but also they jump so be ready for that when you buy them they can be quite jumpy and they uh, can just bolt when they want to so I think they're like the best arboreal beginner species but uh, just uh, be aware of that that they need moisture more than some peoses and that they can be bolty and jumpy when they want to be but I think overall they're still the best beginner species um, anyway this is gonna conclude this week's video thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me to babble on for more than I wanted to uh, I will upload a bonus video tomorrow on tarantula magic you can guess what that is uh, but this is gonna be it for this week uh, this this video Thank you guys so much for watching again. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe down below. And I will see you tomorrow for a bonus kind of weird video. So, bye-bye.